You could say that an 89-year-old Ironton man has a lot of time on his hands. From great big cathedrals to cuckoo clocks. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lawrenson takes us to Crow Wing County to show us how one man's hobby stands the test of time. I had some spare time, and I thought, what the heck am I going to do? Inside Bill Bong's home near Ironton, knickknacks are permanent residents. They line the walls and fill the curio cabinets. But there's another household relic that towers over them all. It takes patience and fortitude, I guess, is what it is. During his working days, Bill ran a greenhouse and painted houses. He got the idea to start building clocks when he and his wife attended a craft show. And in 2001, he made his first. Now, like clockwork, he'll build a half dozen or so every year. Hour here and five hours there. And I spend a lot of time studying prints and stuff before I even start them. Once I got one finished, I thought, what the heck, I'll try another one. He uses oak, maple, and cherry, much of which he can find 100 feet from his kitchen window. Some of your wood for your clocks comes from here. Right. Yep. Then, armed with wood glue, a scroll saw, and no shortage of blades. You can't see the teeth on some of them. They're so fine. Bill goes to work, cutting and constructing. What comes out in the end are masterpieces in their own right. Towers and cathedrals, some nearly five feet tall, with pinpoint designs and decorations. What kind of reaction do you get from people when they come oh, in? Oh, wow. That's what I get. I don't know. I just uh, like to show people what I did. And I suppose I'd be showing off, wouldn't I? <laughs> right now, there are about 30 timekeepers in his home. Many are replicas of historic buildings. If you're ever late for an appointment, you have no excuse. <laughs> no, no. The hands of time are everywhere, and so are the puns. Probably. Time is on your side, <laughs> yeah. just not when you make a mistake. Right. <laughs> There'd be a few choice words, I'm sure. That hasn't happened much. When you spend this many man hours on something, you grow attached to it, which is why Bill doesn't sell his clocks. He gives them to family. Kids will have to fight over them. See? In fact, I think they got their names in, inside some of them already. So in the meantime, he'll keep building clocks and building memories. And he really doesn't mind if people chime in. It's, it's a good hobby to have, I'll tell you. Head for the basement and sit by the saw. Turn the radio on and enjoy. In Crow Wing County, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Oh, wow, is right. Impressive. And the puns, too, must say. And Bill and his wife are both veterans. He says she's also a gifted artist and painter who helps inspire his projects.